everybody! Welcome to Video Game Playing Friends Club! My name is Frankie Coleman, and you can't see them, but I can. We have two special guests, and next to them is Eric Lyde. And our guests are... Hi, my name is Allison Maynard. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> They're both Allison Maynard! Stop. This is the special Mirror Mirror version of Video Game it's Playing Friends Club. You've unlocked, Friends. you've unlocked Mirror Mode of this episode. You can change it in your YouTube resolution options. <laughs> Oh gosh. Alright, I'm I'm Joe Ryan. <laughs> I'm Allie. This is Allie. <laughs> and we're going and this is our special guest, Sonic the Hedgehog. We're playing yet another Sonic game. <laughs> How long can we stay on this home menu? <laughs> <laughs> I will start the game. Start. Video. Joe Joe is uh playing Sonic Colors for us. Because because he's the only one brave enough to. <laughs> I, I chose this out of the the vast selection of uh Sonic games that Frankie has offered. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, this is a this is a good Sonic game. Yeah, this is this is um, for a long while it was the last good Sonic. It was the last of the Dodos. <laughs> Even though another game came out after this that's apparently fine unless unless you played it on PlayStation Three. I had the PS3 version first, and it is by far one of my favorite Sonic games. I'm going to voluntarily skip cutscenes. I'm so sorry. <laughs> this, right. this, this, this isn't that kind of club. Sega. Look at what you can do on the title screen. This is this is this is the extent of my knowledge for this I game. Think I knew about that. <laughs> oh, I know a lot of things about this game. Uh, There's a lot of little secrets to find out about Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah. You just ask well, me some you're questions. A, you're, about a, you're a nunchuck and Mimo kind of guy. Yeah, turn me yeah I, I play purist. Oh jeez. <laughs> I, I use the classic. Excuse me, wouldn't the classic controller be the purist version yeah. of the Sonic <laughs> controllers? I think you mean a Genesis controller. Oh, this looks so nice. I haven't seen this game in so long. Yeah, this is this is my this is one of my favorite Sonic games. I think this is my favorite 3D one. Look, it just starts. Yeah, that's that's how you knew this is gonna be. No, it straight up just starts. Yeah, it just starts. Oh, this is how you knew this is gonna be a good one. <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and introduce myself as the uh, Sonic aficionado. Yeah, of, you're of my... also the one playing the game. Which you point <laughs> out. Uh, I have, I love Sonic and have loved Sonic, but I I know I am well aware of his faults. Uh, since since Sonic Unleashed came out, I've always felt like. The turn for Sonic has begun, and this is this slam. This yeah. brought it on home. Uh, Sonic Colors is such a finely crafted video game. I love everything. I I love pretty much everything about this. How did it take this long for a Sonic game to do this? He had to pair up with Mario in a game first, <laughs> and then yeah, have that. A... Mario had to give him a nice pep talk about how he doesn't need all those fucking rooms. <laughs> <laughs> he had to have the quality rub off on him from the Olympics. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, there's actually a lot that that game did for this. Uh, the only there's like the reason that this game takes place in space, uh, space for instance, is because uh, this would be the first Sonic game for a lot of people that have never that have only played Mario games because uh, the the game that came out before this was the Olympic Games. Yeah. So people would assume. <laughs> yeah, that's really weird. So s s Mario's latest adventure before that was Mario Galaxy. To some little kids, uh, Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games was their first Sonic game. Yeah. It was just some character Mario was hanging out with. And I'm I'm, I'm really getting nostalgic for this game. It wasn't that long ago. This game. Out. <laughs> now, um, I knew this game was good when I saw the that level the burger backgrounds. Oh, uh, I. Burger Sweet Sweet Mountain is yeah. a really cool man. Oh, cool level. Like, here's, something, here's something Mario didn't do. Bam, act two, right away. Yeah, no bullshit. Yeah. Sonic model. You straight up don't I get it. I think you start out flying. At the, uh, at, the, at the time of this uh, recording, they just announced uh, Sonic Lost World for Wii U. I, I guess it's like kind of a sequel to this, I don't know what. So uh, it seems excited. that way. It's got, a, it's got similar... Uh, well, actually, we didn't get to the list power-ups yet, but... Uh, and it actually really, it, it really, it really hurts me that I haven't gotten there yet because there's a lot of shortcuts and secrets that I haven't, yeah. I, just, I avoided in the first world and I had to because I didn't have the power to do so. Is there so, a safe file on there? I, I didn't check, I just started a new one. Oh, okay. Allie, your, your favorite game is Sonic Adventure Dose, right? Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Compare and contrast. Oh, I didn't really play Sonic Colors very much. I don't know. I I get nostalgic for Sonic Adventure 2, not because it's a particularly good video game, <laughs> but because it's a very fun game that I enjoy playing a lot. Yep. See, see, that's what that's what I, I like about art in general. You can have a favorite thing, and it's not you you know it's or don't even think it's the best. But you still like it because it's just what you wanted to like. Excuse me, Roger Ebert, rest in peace. He said that games are not art, so 
Oh, this is gonna be embarrassing. I have no boost. <laughs> You have no booster rings. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> well, oh, hold on, oh, hold on, hold on. I want to point out something. What? There's a little secret back here. Oh, that's a red true. ring. That is a tr he just ran through that bench. Yeah. That, that I hate pretty. sitting down. I'm gonna have to agree with Rod Reaver on this one. Anything where you just run into a bench and it explodes can't possibly be art. That's so rude. I think that is art. That's called uh, deconstruction. It's Dadaism. <laughs> It's deconstructed yeah, data as a upside of the, the story. Like this game is this game is having fun with things that are happening in the game. Yeah, they're kind of. It's hit. also incredibly well written. It's kind of funny because if you watch our videos now, we went. From Sh Sh there's a cutscene coming up. Should I skip it or should I just let it play? Um, let, how long is it? I don't know. We'll, let's, we'll, let's we'll see. Play. Just lost all our viewers. <laughs> This is the- I think this is the only well-written Sonic game from what I can tell. Did Sonic- Sonic Adventure had a story, right? Is it like- <laughs> Is it writing? And See, that's cute. I, I don't want to just <laughs> brag on a game I haven't played. Well, I think Generations is the same writer as, as this one. Really? Yeah. The writing Generations, like, doesn't matter. Yeah, this one had- this one had it, it was- it was campy enough. And this is also, worth pointing out, is the introduction of Roger Craig Smith as the voice of Sonic. He is a really good voice actor, and all- all you Resident Evil fans out there actually know who he is because he's- he's got Chris Redfield. <laughs> this should be news to nobody. Two characters that people are very mad at right now. This, this Chris game. Redfield and Sonic the Hedgehog. I have to say, um, I don't know what Wizardry Sega had access to when they made this game. This looks really nice on Wii. Yeah, I like I like, I like games like this. Reason, that Tails' colors are too dark. Yeah, uh, it's maybe a shadow. Maybe it's because they're at night. It seems like a conscious choice, though, not like an accident. Oh, I know. It's just when, whenever he's not like, I think Tails is easier to mess with than Sonic. <laughs> Apparently, you can tell from like. American art, t t as, as ugly as Sonic ever looked, Tails looked a lot worse. Oh, the European art, though. Oh, uh, goodness. Um, oh, when you're playing the level, there's so much stuff going on in the background, I was surprised that, uh... I, I, really, I really like Sonic's lines here, because these characters all know each other really well, and they know their motivations, and, like, why they do anything, and Sonic is... I, I guess as you can mark here, is pointing out that Eggman has set this up for Sonic to fuck. <laughs> yeah, I, I like... No, I always like these kind of stories where, like, I think the cartoon did this, too. Where like Robotnik has apparently turned over a new leaf, and he set up this thing and like oh, I did it like three times. He set up this like thing for everyone to join. Like Sonic immediately calls bullshit on it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the OVA did that. Yeah. Yeah, and, like the cartoon did it too. And, like, well, the yeah. the OVA did it in a different way, but it's essentially like Eggman's on our side. What's yeah. up with that? I, I always like when stories like that happen in cartoons. Oh, these dudes. Yeah. Okay, these, these. I think one of them. Were they? They were in Generations, right? They kind of like they, they were. They, they had were. a cameo. Oh, right. they're, they're in the comic book, apparently. Their names are Orbot and Cuboid? Is Cuboid the one who has a broken voice chip? Yeah. Which is a, a perfect idea for a character <laughs> in a game like this, because you don't have to write funny lines for him. You just have to take a why it would sound funny. Yeah, he, he's a... They're fun characters. This is also when he was introduced. Like, you, you don't know what his voice sounds like. Yeah. Until the very end, and I think that was a really fun. Oh wait, so he has a natural voice? Yeah, he does. It's... Oh, I have to finish this game. I, f I finished this game to a hundred percent completion, and I do not regret doing so. There is a save file. Yikes, Frankie! Man. Frankie, you never got that sweet mountain. I don't think I to ever... call. No, leave it. <laughs> no, changing this. Oh, it's to call. No. It's from. Oh, uh, of course he would know. Adventure. Yeah, it's just from adventure. Oh, uh, from a good ass story. Yeah. You, should, you should play through the rest. Oh of this. my god! I will. Like uh, BGBFC. Club. Very good people. Fucking Christ. <laughs> uh, Rated M for mature. Oh, I can't. Is there any, yeah, any, to say, is there any reason to pick, pick anyone else? Well, I mean, right. you Look, this is a so, game so, void of Shadow the Hedgehog and his miasma of hatred. <laughs> oh my god. So, so what we have here is the world map, by the way. Uh, everything has a lock on it because everything in space is locked. <laughs> uh, this is the multiplayer mode. Need to lock on to oh, the Oliver. multiplayer in this area remember being pretty fun. Yeah, it's got co-op and it's really fun. You can play with uh, another player and actually pull off some cool tricks that they straight up don't tell you about until you get to access it. Like, you can merge Wisp powers. I should also point out, I am I am possibly the worst Sonic fan who actually enjoys Sonic. <laughs> I, 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 think... Sonic fan. I, I might be! I like the first three games a lot and I really like this. I got... Poser? Under... Actually, I almost said Underground. Sonic, I think under... <laughs> Sonic Underground is something else that we'll talk about later. Oh. We have a very special video for uh, dedicated to all this, all the shitty Sonic things ah. <laughs> that we're afraid to record. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, this is a really good game. This is just a good game, or like, it's like a racing game. It's like Outrun. Uh, 
It's kind of like Outrun, like, you like... Uh, it, no. It's... Like a Alright, so... It's like a platform, but you're also racing. So, let me talk about what I just did, by the way. That's a Wisp power. Uh, Sonic Colors introduced... From Sonic Unleashed, they introduced the ability to pick up items and... And just trigger them in interesting ways to interact with the level. Uh, I've unlocked the Laser Wisp. Oh, You've Jesus. the tripping ability. <laughs> <laughs> Featured now, since Brawl. Uh, oh, hell, I'm missing all these shortcuts. Um, Wisp lets me start Sonic in a straight line and he'll bounce around and bash everything in sight. But if I connected with those diamonds, I would have made a really cool pattern and got a lot of points for doing so. Uh, let me also take a sec to talk about points, if that's cool. No. No? Alright, so anyway, here's Sonic. <laughs> you, can't, you cannot divert from anything Sonic. We're, we're, we are Sega. We're afraid of involving anything else in Sonic but Sonic now. <laughs> so, let me go ahead and just switch up the, uh, the vocabulary. Uh, so points is Sonic. You need a set amount of Sonics to get a good a good score. Five Sonics is enough for a good score. Of one of oh, Sonic up. <laughs> uh, Sonic Colors actually has a really uh, really in depth grading cars, right? So uh, straight from Sonic Drift. <laughs> um, gotta keep your feet right off the ground. <laughs> There's no time to to mess around. Uh, oh no! Oh, man. <laughs> Um, the scoring, the s I love the, uh, the platform in this game. Yeah, it's really, it's slowed down significantly from Unleashed, and um, uh, if you've played this fresh off the Unleashed bandwagon, I'm gonna go ahead and use the word. <laughs> um, this w this is a completely different experience. The game has been slowed down a shit ton, and it's it's pretty favorable in a lot of ways. Yeah. It's funny because uh, the, the nighttime parts of Sonic... Unleashed are super slow. Oh yeah, it, uh, but they can be. They can be really slow. Well, but like, it's almost a completely different game. Yeah, the, well, that was uh, intentional. The biggest problem with it was that it was like too long. I, I, I have those a, levels were too long. You can, yeah, you could. You, it would take you like at least upwards of ten minutes for a regular level in that, and that was like if you were playing through on the first try. Yeah, they're like people got mad. Well, the, uh, the, Wii, the Wii version actually um, splits the rare wolf levels up, so I think if you're, it's like pick your poison. Did you want to play three of the of the, of the Werehog levels, or you want to play one big long one? Like on the Penguin version, you're, uh, you're playing. Spread. <laughs> See, it's like Mario World. Yeah. Mario it, World, that was, that, was, that was pretty much the, the blue wisp plant, uh, palace. <laughs> yeah, look at that map, like, this game was great. <laughs> the, the, the map, like, I remember before this game came out, the soundtrack was leaked, and as soon as I heard map music, I was just like, that's it, I'm sold. <laughs> The music of this game is really strong and really good. I just love, there's so many fresh ideas in this one, that's why I can't wait to see, uh, I really hope all that stuff gets carried over to Sonic Lost World, because, um, I don't know, this was the first time Sonic felt like oh, no? to me. <laughs> like, I, I, I like Generation 2, but that game is more of a celebration of the past. No! For Sonic. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny, why didn't they call Sonic Lost World Sonic 4? Because they never made a Sonic 4. Yeah, what's <laughs> up with that? No! Yeah, why wasn't there a Sonic 4? Okay, that's it, no more. No more <laughs> Sonic 4 never came out, huh? No, I don't think it did. Unfortunate. It certainly didn't come out on two separate consoles. It definitely wasn't an episode, dude. No! Oh, come on. Alright. I, I thought you were I the best, Joe. I thought, yeah. <laughs> I thought you were the Sonic King. Alright, you can edit this out, right? Oh my goodness. <laughs> no. I got it. <laughs> there nothing, it is. Nothing can oh get edit, edited out of these videos. C, as in C, I did pretty well. C, senor. What was your score? Huh? C, senor. My score was Sonic. Oh, there's there's Tails on his Wii U gamepad. <laughs> <laughs> Stop making up words. No. Those don't mean things. Oh, it's Yacker. Oh no, it's a new character in a Sonic game. Oh, it's a new Sonic pal. How old is, so how old is Tails in this game? Is he illegal? <laughs> I was about to say, isn't he canonically eight right now? Yeah, I think he's canonically eight. He's eight forever. <laughs> well, he's been a bunch of different ages. I think All of them have been a bunch of he's ages. He's a really good artist by eight, apparently. He knows a really good label maker. <laughs> <laughs> he's already like an entrepreneur. So. <laughs> he's like, um... He's also an animal. He's like Jim from, uh... <laughs> he also like, has like two tails. From, um, and is a fox. From Outlaw Star. Look at, uh, look at Sonic's giant-ass hands. Let's see if they show him again. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, there they are. See, like, Sonic is fucking emoting in this game. Like, he has reactions to things. He's not just screaming about how he wants to save the fucking world. Oh, he emotes in Adventure. It's just way too much. <laughs> it's <just> so <laughs> good. <laughs> the mo capping is perfect. That's, that's, that's mo capping? No, in, in Adventure 2, they mo capping. Oh, mo-cap. I'm yeah. sorry. Oh, my God. What was it? What was uh, when you say Adventure, I always assume Adventure 2. <laughs> I, I also think sorry. that Sonic. The Sonic model in this game was like the, my favorite mod in Sonic. It's very design. good. Cause like they kind of squished him a bit. And I felt like the way he looked in 06 it was just like. Ugh. Does he do um, proper leg stretches in uh, like adventure? And or... go. I know he does it in the in Unleashed. I don't remember if he does it. I think Unleashed the first one, the time he started doing that. Cause like before, I, know, I, guess, I guess he's getting older, so he has to do his stretches, or he's just more mature and realizes he should. Oh, he might actually he might have started that in um, 06 also. I can't imagine that game being that creative. I don't think the Dreamcast ones really had the animation to do that. <laughs> no, they didn't have the space. But, um, I don't, I don't think Sonic was that animated at that point, but... I, I think that, uh... Any opportunity they had to do so, to just have Sonic be in one of his old poses, like, stretching... Not even stretch, he yawned in the old games. Yeah, they, yeah. They, they, reference that, they reference that very often now. I think it's cute. Oh, I love it. I think hedgehog, real hedgehogs yawning is cute. <laughs> have you ever seen a cute animal yawn? Of course. <laughs> have you ever seen that thing? Have you ever seen yawn from Resident Evil? Mm, it's even cute when he yawns. No. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty unfamiliar with Resident Evil. Oh my Evil. god, he's only the giant snake that kills Kenneth. Oh, jeez. Oh, no, not Kenneth. It's not Ken no, Kenneth. No, Kenneth. Spoiler alert. Kenneth. Is it Kenneth? No. But Kenneth is the guy you find first. The balloons you bounce on are clearly a callback to Carnival Night Zone. Carnival They're a callback to balloons. <laughs> it's no, it's just it? Sonic delving further into fetishes. <laughs> uh, and then it just spits me I out I feel like in every Sonic video, fetishes comes up no matter what. Oh, wait. Yeah! Oh. That's a s- <laughs> That was one-ups. Alright, so I think I'm now going to take the opportunity to talk about the scoring system. Because <laughs> there's actually a lot that goes oh, into I getting it. I didn't mean for you to not do it. Actually, nah, actually, it's okay. I'm actually interested in that because I, I don't know about it. It. Take, it takes a lot to get an S rank. Like, it seriously does. Um, you get, I think, 30,000 points for every uh, for every ring you get. The, the gold, the red rings. Um, you get uh, bonus points based on how you use wisp powers. Like, I think every time you bounce, you... Uh, Every time you bounce off with the blue wisp, you you get points, I think. And the biggest one is actually your time, because you, if you finish the level right away, you'll get a mountain of points. And that's like starting from zero seconds. If you could finish it somehow miraculously with zero seconds, <laughs> you'll, you'll you'll get enough points to get an S rank guaranteed. But as you play through the stage, uh, it goes that the amount of points you get is lowered. So Ooh. I'm gonna die. Oh no. <laughs> Everyone's gonna die! And what happens is, uh... Like, you can actually reach a certain point where you've spent too long in a level, and up in the corner where my time is counting down, it'll actually just say time up. And you can still finish the level, you just won't get points for it. Oh, wow. Uh, oh, so it's not like Metropolis Zone. <laughs> unfor uh, fortunately? Yeah, yeah fortunately. fortunately. <laughs> it's like the worst zone three levels. Excuse me, three acts. Eh? Nope. See, this is the stuff I like to see, like, platforming. <laughs> I, I don't like seeing this kind of platforming, but yeah, well, I, I can... mean, like, just the, like, the idea that, like, he has to... Sonic has to think. Yeah. <laughs> Sonic has to react to what's going on around him instead of blowing through it with it was, his skull. Was, this game was the first time they started, like, trying with that again, so it was nice I definitely well, appreciate this one, but... kind of kickstarted it back, and, like, this game... I, I just like how this game could be a side-scroller at times and stuff. Just... Yeah. yeah. He's, he's really not afraid to be that. Uh, is that the boss act? Yeah, we made it to the boss. We did it. Uh, Look, there's, there is. Look at this nice looking game on the Wii. A system that I, I, everyone told me, and I believe that up until this point, it was just a piece of shit. It's uh, everyone's favorite theme. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say it in every game. Please do! <laughs> Everyone's favorite fiend. <laughs> Best Look fiends forever. Eggman. Sorry, is... Frankie, his textures on his glove just aren't detailed enough. <laughs> I, I like that people think it's. <laughs> it's it's the system's fault and not people being lazy. You can make, Frank, a, you can make a good Frank, game on any console if you just Frank. know what the fuck you're doing. <laughs> You just don't understand. People made people made good games on the Sega CD. That system is a disaster. 
Um, they, they made good games on that? Yeah. Wow. There's a few. Get out of town. I have to say, though, this game looks really nice on your. Uh, I think your TV upscales Wii games pretty nicely. Yeah, it does not yes. upscale Ghouls and Ghosts games nicely at all. <laughs> Since the boss said nothing was so we were playing Kirby on here, it looked amazing. Even though it wasn't in HD. Yeah. Same thing with this, this looks pretty nice on here. Well, I like up. how they explain the joke and it's still funny. <laughs> <laughs> they're good they're good characters. Like uh Orbot was actually in uh he was in Unleashed. Oh, was he? Yeah, he was, but he was in pro I think it was like in prototype. He didn't have the red on him. At least the big boy. <laughs> I think it was, I think they realized that that um, oh, this is a good boss. They realized that Robot needed like a uh, character to talk to. to, talk to yeah. <clears throat> they, they, they took the one good idea from the '90s cartoon. Well, the best part about this game is that Robotnik also just talks to himself. Yeah. You, you can you can no you can hear him over the loudspeakers in uh, levels. Yeah. Oh, what the. There's, like, there's actually a YouTube video that has all the recordings. I have that. Isn't, like him just saying what's going on in the park. It's like, yeah. It's like it's some of the fun, it's some of the funniest jokes that this series has ever had. Okay. I, so. I can't believe they didn't think of that like, and... a decade earlier. <laughs> <laughs> it's him talking about like all kinds of stuff that usually involves like uh, I guess kind of hurting people, hurting the customer. It's like just like. <laughs> It's like, it's like, it's like Mad World. It's like, pulp, yeah. It's yeah, like it's the same like people were at Mad World. Yeah, same people were at Mad World. Oh, where is it? Oh, shit. I, were they under contract that, like, for Sega for, like, three games? Why did you know where oh. Shoot. They're really good writers. It's like Paper Mario writing. Oh, there we go. We win. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Let's do it. The unfortunate thing about uh, all the bosses in this game, like, every last one, is that they're very easy. Yeah, the bosses are kind of like the. Uh, like, they're just, they're just, they're just in there. At least that yeah. one was big, and like you can conceivably get caught up in the platforms. Uh, yeah. It's not like a Sonic CD where you look at it and it just blows up. <laughs> you have to breathe the boss to death. Yeah. The, the bosses are like the weak point to this game. Yeah. Like, they kind of reuse them too. Yep. There's a. Oh, hold up. <laughs> That's worth appreciating. <laughs> <laughs> Do they own that now? <laughs> Uh, the bosses, they recycle, uh, the first three, and then throw them, again, uh, throw them, throw them at you again. Yeah, the I like that. There was something wrong with this <laughs> But that's okay. Usually the complaint is that it's too short. I, well, as long as it's good. Like, it, this isn't like a, a game that got shoved in our faces constantly and cost $60, and it was only, like, four hours of gameplay with, like, six hours of cutscenes or whatever. Well, like, Sonic, Sonic games don't exactly get long development cycles these days. Too. Yeah, the last like the last ones had two years to be worked on. Yeah, like Sonic... two years the max they get, as opposed to like four or five. Yeah, <laughs> when they were first party. Well, Sonic three, uh, how long, like how many years did that game develop? Two. Sonic three. Yeah. Uh, yeah, two years. It was yeah. two years, and that game was four hours long, and that's what, that's because <laughs> we were taking our time. Sonic Adventure was in development so for a while though. Sonic 3 they went to like they went to like uh, the Aztecs and shit to study for that game. Yeah, <laughs> kind of crazy. It all amounted to nothing. Yeah. No, <laughs> just. <laughs> well, I mean, like in the no, long run, they just. They got no, I, don't, I don't think they can really get like a. I don't think they since they're not first party anymore. They can't fund a trip to like. No. Just you know, dick around. And, like, they, this ideas. this game they actually went to space. Yeah, they went to space to study it. <laughs> they sent, they they, they uh, kidnapped Yuji Naka, Turns out they sent him into space, there. asked him to take notes, and then they released him. <laughs> into space? Yes. I have to figure out like what Yuji Naka's deal was, because from what I understand, he worked on Sonic up until 06, right? The 06 game? Right? He left after that. Yeah, yes, 06 so, like, was the last project. What the hell was going on with that game? That... <laughs> Alright, uh... If you want to skip this, you can. But uh, but you should take note that that is a, re uh, a Robotnik recycling bin. <laughs> He's, I like how these robots just have the job of cleaning up, and one of them's literally like lifting up robot parts, but the other one's just just sweeping. <laughs> and he gives up on that. <laughs> By the way, here comes a, a little little thing that'll come into play later. Not that we'll get a chance to see it, but <gasps> what's that? A robot part. You'll find out. Next time on Video Game Playing Friends Club. I said it was a robot part. No. <laughs> <laughs>